The Friday briefing, let's continue. Now, there was heated debate over the controversial reproductive health care bill as various opposing views came face to face during a stakeholders meeting convened by Nakuru Senator Susan Kihika. The bill that is currently before the Senate seeks to provide a framework for assisted reproduction, surrogate parenthood agreement and framework for access to reproductive health services by adolescents aged between 10 and 18 years. Critics of the bill claim the bill may encourage lesbianism, homosexuality, masturbation and runaway abortion. Patrick Amimo reports. After clause 32 is clause 33, which you must read together. The Susan Kihika bill has raised a storm among a section of the clergy and some civil society organizations with regards to the right to reproductive health care. And it was evident during the stakeholders' meeting. So we have trained our children sex is a right and that it is your right to experience sexual pleasure. What happens if we train our young men this way? and now they want to have sex and there is nobody willing to have sex with them. You should know that masturbation is a natural process of any human being. It is. Now, the fact is that now you're saying that it should be taught. It's not taught. And where in the bill is it saying that it should be taught at the age of four? I think we are misleading the country for our own reasons. Show us in the bill under the definition section the definition of masturbation or any such phraseology that would import masturbation in this bill for four-year-olds. You will not find the word masturbation anywhere in the bill. You will not find the word same-sex behavior or marriage anywhere in the bill. But all of those issues are matters that can come in through this bill because of our interpretive framework. The bill proposes that a pregnancy may be terminated by a trained health professional where there is need for emergency treatment. The pregnancy will endanger the life or health of the mother and or where the fetus will suffer severe physical or mental abnormality that is incompatible with life after the womb. If I am of the opinion that that pregnancy is not affecting uh, the, the status of the mother is not putting her at risk and I say termination is not uh, necessary I have simply given my opinion and she can go and seek uh, a, a second, third and fourth opinion when you criminalize my opinion then what you're saying is that the termination on demand of the mother then is acceptable issues that are contentious just come up with uh, a suggestion that because of this issue that is contentious, let us use this. There are babies who are formed with such severe malformations that they are not going to actually survive outside of the womb, even if they make it to term and they are born. For instance, an encephaly, which is a very common problem, where the child develops but the brain does not develop. Remember that unborn child is a human being just like any other person. That's what the Constitution says. But I also support uh, Kehika because, again, the Constitution says, I think, is it Article 43, that uh, there is a right to reproductive health. The bill also wants the national and county governments to ensure adolescents have access to friendly reproductive health services through mentorship programs, spiritual and moral guidance, counseling on abstinence, and consequences of unsafe abortion and sexually transmitted infections. There's nothing like unsafe abortion. At the end of the day, it kills a child, a baby, and it affects a woman mentally and psychologically, and I've seen the effects of it. I was an adolescent at 11, up to 18 years, in a pool of blood, every month. I also would hope that for those, and especially the church, for those who have been out there on TV and everything condemning, when we invite them for the stakeholders' meeting, that they will also show up. Patrick Amimo, KTN News.